So here is Crafty Charger and Off the Track Thoroughbred at our first recognized event together. This is at River Glen in Tennessee. So I'm in the Open Beginner Novice coming down the center line, which for this test we only do a half uh, straight down the center line. You cross a short diagonal. So for Crafty, he is learning to develop um, his movement through his body and working on getting him to not drop behind the vertical and get too low in his pole. So by doing that, I am making sure I stay soft in the contact, my body staying over my hips, and I'm trying to allow him to push from behind. Working on our 20 meter circle. And he was a very good boy. He was just a little distracted, which can tend to happen to horses in this ring since we've got like the cross country jumps right there. And you've got uh, show jumping's actually going up above us, which you can't tell. Uh, he picked up that canter transition very nice. And also working on building up his muscling, getting him to, to fill out a little bit more. Came down to the trot transition. Going to the left is, in fact, his harder way. Now we go down to the walk transition. So you'll see every now and then, going to the left, he kind of veers off of the um, track a little bit from the dressage panels. And then working on getting him to connect to the bit. So you saw he got a little bit up and down. Just trying to stay soft in the connection. And he finally gives me a little bit of stretch near the end of this walk. Probably the walk is his weakest gait as well, but that should develop pretty nicely. And then I'm going to work on trying to get him back and connected. Still walking. So we have a fair amount of walk. We have to walk all the way to K and then pick up our trot. So you see he kind of is just up and down, kind of not really focused in the contact. That will come. Now we do our 20 meter circle. Again, working on engaging that hind leg, getting him to come up through his frame and open his shoulders. I think he's really going to have a nice big trot and canter when I'm done. So preparing for the canter, going to sit, half halt to the turn. <laughs> he gave me a pretty uphill canter. Kind of jumped up into it. Now working on the 20 meter circle at C. And he is he is a very kind of uh, forward but sensitive ride. So you have to be careful not to try to pull and to hold him and put him into a little box. I'm really working to allow him to B. And he's coming up through the pole even better. Now we're going to do a short diagonal to go to X and then straighten on the center line. And then I'm supposed to halt through the walk, but I kind of took well, a couple too many walk steps. But he does halt square, put in a decent test of a 33.1. Very happy with his score. So now moving on to the show jump. Uh, I decided to trot him in kind of right next to that big black thing. Some horses were spooking at that. So um, he is a little bit of a, a peaky horse. So I just wanted to make sure he kind of got got a gander of uh, some of the jumps. So now coming to the first fence, creating a good rhythm. Again, making sure my shoulders are up over my hips. He jumps that very nicely. He has a very round jump, and he's very careful. He doesn't like to touch the fences. <laughs> of course, as I say that, he does rub uh, fence number three. But that allows me to then half halt. He does that in a nice seven. Now, I do try to get a lead change, but that didn't happen. So I kind of waited. He did a half lead change, so still cross catering in the back. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Keep the balance. Jump the stew out of that oxer. Now I'm going to balance to this, make sure I'm behind him so he sees it. He jumps up very nicely. We get our lead change now. Tracking left, balancing through the turn. Jump that really well. Again, balance now for the two stride. 
I'm going to hold my shoulders. He really jumps well from the base. So now i got to bounce again for the last fence. Yes. Really happy with uh, our show jumping around. Uh, he's proving to be a pretty fun horse to ride. So now going on to the cross country. I had a little bit of a... Not a debacle, but as I was getting counted down, normally they go 15 and they go 10, but um, he said 15 and then 8, so that kind of m messed with my head a little bit with my watch, but jumped the first fence pretty well. Uh, I was going to make sure to stay behind him so I can build his confidence. Coming to number 2, jumps that really well. Now we're heading, what you can't see is kind of in between those jumps, that's where the water is. So we go and we loop back around, jump fence three. So now coming to fence three, he kind of doesn't jump this the best because he's a little distracted. But I just now allow, I let him see the water, kind of, he decides to go in at the canter, which I was really proud of him for. Very confident to the water. And that was kind of an awkward distance, but again, he's got a fair amount of scope, so he did it quite well. And now we're dealing with a bit of terrain. We had a lot of rain happen kind of right before we uh, went, and he handled that really well. Did the three nicely. And now we're heading to the ditch. So I was a little concerned about the ditch, just because he can be a little peaky, but he canters right over it, no problem. I was very proud of him for that. And I decided to kind of practice going in and out of the dark space of the barn, getting him that experience. Jump that right out of rhythm. Now just keeping the pace, keeping him nice and slow and relaxed. Our optimum time for this course was 5 minutes and 43 seconds. He jumped that well and up over 11, very good. So uh, since we were tied for third, uh, the closest to optimum time breaks the tie. So I was trying to make sure I came spot on the optimum time. So as it, even though we're going slow, we, I was still pretty ahead on our clock. But then I went and kind of overjudged it and had three seconds over time. So 1.2 time penalties and we finished fourth. Uh, overall, I was super pleased with Crafty's performance and he did a great job.